Europejskie Forum Nowych Idei 2015. European Forum New Ideas 2015. It's time to begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dorota Warakomska. Zapraszam do stołu. Let me rozpoczynamy naszą Invite you to take your seats and we shall begin our gala. Szanowni państwo, już piąty raz Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fifth time, it's hard to believe, but this is the fifth time that we meet at the European Forum for New Ideas that is organized by Leviathan Confederation in collaboration with Business Europe, which is the largest European organization of business. And with the collaboration of the city of support, the theme of this forum is Europe in the face of growing social inequality, radicalism and geopolitical threats. This is the fifth time when we are going to share ideas, we are going to argue and inspire each other at this pavilion for new ideas. We are have the whole schedule of uh, presentations and debates and panel sessions that base of dialogue that are open to the general public and the night of discussions that will begin tonight. The forum provides an excellent opportunity for networking. This is a place to meet and to talk to people who shape the future of Poland, of Europe and the world. I would like to thank everyone who is listening to my intervention. Thank you for your support. This evening has two parts. We start with the official part that will be followed by the informal part. During the official session, we shall have the official opening of the European Forum for New Ideas 2015. And we will have uh, Dr. Henryka Bochniarz, the President of Polish Confederation Leviathan and Vice President of Business Europe, and the Chairman of the Program Council of the Forum and uh, Professor Jerzy Buzek. Dr. Henryka Bochniarz and Professor Jerzy Buzek. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that the best evidence to the fact that we made the right decision to organize the forum is that you, have, you don't have enough time to talk. And this is the reason why we organize this forum, to offer you the opportunity to talk. Hopefully, you will let us uh, speak for a few minutes so that we may have the official opening. Otherwise, the whole program will collapse. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Słuchajcie, właściwie e, trudno nazwać, że teraz well, it's really hard to say that this is the startup of EFNI because uh, at least some of you had the opportunity to take part in our warm-up session at the Pendolino train. We would like to thank the CEO of PKPSA, Jakub Karnowski. Jakub, we really want to express our appreciation. The train was a true beauty. On top of it, they cleaned everything that we were able to see through the window. So I could hardly recognize our home country. It's not
not the fact that Poland, it's not true that Poland is falling apart and it is a ruined country. Everything is cleaned up. So I believe that the first debate actually gave us a flavor of what's coming up during the next two days and nights. And after the debate on the train, we had a very interesting session. session under the leadership of Professor Hausner. And uh, the title of the session was truly intriguing. The firm equals idea. The question but, and that gives us a preview to what we are going to discuss. This is the fifth forum, but I urge you to stop chucking. If you don't stop chucking, we won't serve dinner. And now the silence falls upon the whole pavilion. So I'm not sure how many people who are here participated during the first edition of the European Forum for the Ideas. But uh, those of you who were with us five years ago may remember that the artistic program triggered most emotions. We had a special performance on day one, and on day one we had the honor to have with us the key people from Brussels because it was the time of Polish presidency. And at that time, on that evening, Andrzej Dziuk and David Kacyfierer had a special performance for us. And as far as I remember, this performance was filled with a great vision. It was a visionary performance. There was a skate, hold, skate holding in front of the pavilion, and there were different uh, acts and scenes showing the Europe falling apart, collapsing. We thought that it was collapsing at that time, but at the very end of that performance, there was a huge group of people coming out of the sea. So that was a group of refugees. And at that time, we thought that this is a very abstract concept. We would never think that this is a preview to what's going to happen in the real life. But it did happen. And I think that uh, we will also talk about it during the next two days and two nights because the discussion that we had on the train proved that the whole refugee thing is truly important to everyone. And I think that this is very fortunate that the business community that is represented here has very pragmatic outlook on that. So we spoke about the way we are prepared and how we need to reach better preparedness, how to prepare our labor market that we were not lamenting that they are going to destroy us. So all those uh, threats that have been discussed from the very first edition of this forum and all the reasons why we decided to set up this forum, because we were inspired by the financial and economic crisis that is not likely to ease and uh, pass away and it is coupled with some other crisis events, such as Greek exit or um, problems of the Eurozone or political threats, like uh, annexation of Crimea or the outcomes of the war that has been unfolding in Syria and other neighboring countries. So at this forum, we will have time to discuss all the things. And obviously, we are not going to whine and complain. We will come up with uh, ideas for solutions and recommendations, and we will draw up a support declaration that will provide guidance to the Polish authorities, to Brussels, to the neighboring countries and other EU member states. We will explain what we believe needs to be done to make sure that we are better prepared to address all the challenges and threats that emerge as we speak. So I want to encourage all of you to engage in the discussion, to be open, because this is the place and time when we may engage in such meaningful discussions. And as it always happens, on Friday night, we will close the forum, and uh, at the end, we will have the feeling that we worked hard. But 
that we would feel the accomplishment of living up to this intellectual challenge. But now let me turn the floor to the chair of our program council, Professor Jerzy Buzak. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who have been attending EFNI from the very beginning may remember that our mood evolved from year to year. As uh, Madam Chair Nika said, every year we face different problems. The first EFNI was organized under the Polish presidency in the EU. It was euphoria. We were doing very well. And actually, we continue to do well. But uh, the situation outside of Poland is very different. And then, from year to year, new threats were emerging, first in the real economy, in the Eurozone, and just mind you, we got uh, many migrants who decided to migrate to the UK and to the Netherlands. At some point, there were some hostilities against them, and we were trying to address these problems. All those centrifugal um, trends that arise in the UK and the continuous problem with Greece that uh, has not done their homework when they were getting ready for their membership, then the imminent threat of the Russian crisis, and now the sweeping wave of uh, refugees and migrants from the North African and Middle Eastern countries. At EFNI, we were um, joyful about the uh, great spring in the Arab countries, but uh, the Middle East is the place where the crisis uh, has been lingering for a long time, and Syria turned out to be a dramatic place. And the imbalance that was triggered was uh, truly disastrous. So we remember when it all started, when the trouble hit. It was back in 2008. It's been just seven years when Lehman Brothers went under, just one financial institution that the rating agency have uh, always uh, praised and spoke very highly about them, giving them triple A rating. There was no more spectacular, spectacular evidence to prove that the trust collapsed in the market economy, and the trust is the driving force of the free market, just trust that you have in other businesses and in other entities. Bankers continued to take huge bonuses despite the fact that they triggered the crisis. And all the time, the questions are still ahead of us. And EFNI should answer in what way Europe and in what way the organization of the free market is to respond to what is in this uh, written program of AFNI, which is for uh, today's uh, meeting, growing uh, the face of growing social inequality, radicalism and geopolitical threats. How can we possibly change Europe and our European Union? Because we do not want to replace it with and change it into a different continent. We believe in the future of it. How can we change capitalism? Because we do not want to change, to exchange capitalism to a different economic order. We believe in its uh, power, as Christine Lagrange said. You, we need to defend capitalism against itself. So this is today this major question which we face, and we will be trying to take them up in the panel discussions. We will try to formulate some uh, concepts how we should uh, act. Well, you can ask me, how many times have we already discussed it? It is the fifth AFNI, and the discussions will be going on for three days. My answer is, if anybody has doubts, please remember that discussion is the very essence of and the most important, important part of any democratic system. And we have a lot of faith to democracy, in democracy. Well, so now ahead of us, three days of vivid discussions. We'll meet again Friday night. And please remember that 
you could better stay till Sunday. It's much, much better because you will remember Ethne even better. I will stay until Sunday, and this is what I wish you. Thank you. All the best. Uh, please stay with us because now I will invite up here the co organizers of the European Forum for New Ideas, President of Business Europe, Emma Bergalia, and President of Sopot, Jacek Karnowski. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, but my Polish is uh, absolutely impossible, so I will speak uh, English. I'm uh, very honored to be here, so I really thank my good friend Enrica uh, for inviting me. I also say hello to the president. Uh, this is my first time at the EPNI. I have heard a lot about uh, this very important moment. I like very much the, the fact that uh, there is a real discussion here. You will have uh, three days of real discussion. I will take part to it, and uh, I think uh, this is a real crucial moment to discuss about new ideas, to discuss about radicalism, democracy, growth, uh, immigrants. Uh, so I really think uh, we will have a very fruitful discussion. I share ideas with uh, Enrique and the President on the fact that uh, we, we see a lot of problems in front of us. Uh, growth in Europe uh, is not enough. Poland is an exception. It's a very good exception. I'm Italian. I'm an entrepreneur. But I have also a company here in Poland founded in uh, 2004, and I'm very happy and very satisfied about uh, uh, my business here. But uh, if I look at uh, Europe as a whole, uh, uh, growth is not enough. Yes, there is some recovery, which is better than some years ago, but still is not enough. Unemployment in a lot of areas is, is still very high. We face the problem of Grexit, and we solve for now the problem, but we are not sure this problem will come back. We are facing in the next month uh, a possible, I hope not probable, uh, um, uh, Brexit, where UK and uh, uh, there will be a referendum, as you know, about their staying uh, in Europe. Uh, we, we are facing, as Enrica said before, this uh, huge problem of refugees. So we are still in a lot of problems. And we also have to add that also around us, uh, the situation is not getting better. We know what's going on in China. We know what's going on in Brazil, what's going on in Russia. So uh, the world uh, is a complex one. So we are here to discuss. My point is that... Um, uh, yes, it's true that we have a lot of problems in Europe, but we have also a lot of values. We have uh, very good companies. We have democracies. Uh, we, so if we stay together, if we discuss, and if we play and we stay in our values, common values, I think we can find, we can find a way to uh, exit these problems and to go back to growth, to go back to good employment, and also to... Uh, to, to, to I mean, face these problems of refugees, uh, because here there is a problem of, uh, of course, trying to help these people, but also we have to, to think long term what Europe needs. There is a, a need also of good immigrants, of talented people. So there is a lot of things to discuss on. So thank you for inviting me. I will be, I'm looking forward to take part to the discussion tonight. And congratulations to you, Erika, because I know you are. Uh, the person who invented this, and you are really very good. I'm very surprised and, uh, of uh, what you, you have done here. So thank you, congratulations, and uh, we will stay all together and discuss about all these very important matters. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emma. Pani President. Pani President, Państwowie Komorowski, Pani President Henryko Bochniarz. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I want to welcome you very warmly to Sopot. However, all of you, you are people of Sopot because you come so often here, you spend so much time here, that I can tell, well, I welcome all Sopot people to Sopot. I'm really proud that it's the fifth time that EFNI is organized here. We uh, have this special uh, backstage, you can see Grand Hotel there, but I'm also proud that this year we have this very subject in Sopot, in the city of tolerance, uh, hospita hospitality, promoting open ideas of Europe and the world. I'm very happy that we will be talking he here about the things so important as, for example, the refugee issue. So thank you very much for coming here and I wish you a very fruitful um, debate. Ladies and gentlemen, during our speeches, more guests arrived and I want to welcome them because there is no good uh, light. I may forget about someone, but those I've noticed. Uh, President Bronisław Komorowski. Commissioner. Danuta Hibner. Commissioner Janusz Lewandowski. Special welcome to the Commissioner. I'm sure. Well, really, really, Commissioner. Prime Minister. If I have forgotten about someone, I apologize, but I, I hope that Dorota, who is responsible for order here, she will complete me. Thank you very much. So, can we now say that officially we have inaugurated the fifth uh, forum, and now we'll maybe receive soup, and we'll see what's going uh, to happen later. Thank you very much. Emma Marczegalia i Jacek Karnowski. Bardzo serdecznie dziękujemy. Szanowni Państwo, teraz w imieniu partnera Gali Otwarcia Europejskiego Forum. Now on behalf of the partner of uh, official inauguration and EFNI opening gala, we'll have here Luigi Lavalli on the stage. Mr. President, Mr. Mayor, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, well. It's a great pleasure, great pleasure to be again uh, this year, partner of this uh, international event. And uh, it's really, I wish, I would like really to warm uh, welcome uh, all of you. Why Pekao is here? We are here because we believe that as a, a leading institution in this country and number one company in terms of value in the country, we should go a little bit beyond our normal activity in collecting money and lending money. We feel responsibility to support events like this one, aiming at shape a better future for our people. I think in the coming days uh, we are going to discuss very important uh, topics. Uh, I believe that Poland can uh, really give a strong contribution in that. Uh, inclusiveness, sustainability are the watch words uh, for the collective progress. Only by reducing uh, disequality we can create uh, real uh, growth. I think that obviously this kind of uh, task are on the agenda of governments, but I believe that all the institutions uh, have the duty to try to implement uh, this principle. Banks, first of all. And I think we have to do it in a responsible way. Capital and people should be allocated to sustainable growth. We should support real business and not uh, 
virtual finance, transparency and non-profit uh, to detriment uh, of our customers, ethics, ethics. Ethics is not uh, such things like uh, business ethics. Ethics uh, is something that cannot be separated from the normal life. Or you have or you don't have. It's what, the, in some way, we tried to do in Pecao in the last years, and we will uh, try to do in the future. We want to support uh, the sustainable growth and the quality of life of everyone in the country. We used to say their prosperity is the key to our success. And we have another important quality in Pecao. Now, we like simplicity. Simplicity. Things are what they are. Orange is an orange. A home is a home. Falling rain is the rain that falls. Nationalization is nationalization and not polonization. It's something slightly different. Uh, let me finish, let me finish by just recalling uh, that the power of the region was built uh, on important values like uh, freedom, uh, equality, solidarity, and I believe that uh, the country should keep going on this path uh, because uh, only in this way we can face the challenge and reduce uh, this equality. And uh, let me finish by just uh, underlining one important thing. We cannot measure everything with product Craiove Brutto. This is an important aspect. Uh, uh, and I would like to recall what Robert Kennedy said in 1968. Uh, GDP product Craiove Brutto can measure everything in short, except uh, that uh, which makes our life worth while. I wish you a nice evening, a very inspiring and pleasant uh, meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Luigi Lavaglio. Thank you for this speech. Now, ladies and gentlemen, really soon, We'll be having here on this stage a keynote debate. And as you might have noticed, is a new thing uh, during EFNI. It will be a historically uh, the very first opening keynote debate.